don't call Josh because he dropped out of law school and is now an entrepreneur. You heard that right. Batman. Everybody. Batman. One more time. Thank you. The title of my talk is Insane or Visionary? How much Batman is too much Batman? The answer might surprise you. We look up here and we see a symbol. Something that speaks to us from our childhood to most recently the Christopher Nolan series with Christian Bale. We have this question to ask though. How come Batman's not just more than a crazy man in a padded room? How come he's a visionary symbol which can inspire us in our darkest times? What happens between the time that one person has an idea and they say, I want to make a difference to the point where we see a symbol that can inspire a city and lift them through their dark times. What occurs? Well, it starts when one person has a vision. And this is true, not just for Bruce Wayne, but for the business and the startup community as well. There'll be a time where you have an idea, and that idea is crazy. And that's okay. One person is always crazy. Four people, well, damn it, starting to have a movement, and there's 15 million Mormons. Yeah, think about that. So we go back to Bruce. Before Batman was Batman, he was Bruce. And Bruce had an idea, it was crazy. Bruce said, I want to fight crime, to which Alfred probably said, all right, Master Bruce, so do you want to join the police corps? <laughs> no, 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 Alfred, you don't understand. I want to spend the majority of my inheritance getting all of this high-tech weaponry and training so that I can wear a rubber suit crowl around in the nighttime from the rooftop and drop down on bad guys and beat their ass with my fists. Yeah, Bruce was crazy, but he didn't just leave it there. Bruce did what every entrepreneur does at the start of their business, and he said, I'm going to go on this long journey. I'm willing to make a sacrifice. I'm willing to toil. I'm willing to quit my job. I'm willing to spend my children's college education. I'm willing to sleep on a couch for months if that's what it takes. And it's just, it's, yeah, okay, go ahead, get hyped, get hyped, come on, ignite TFW. It gets serious, though, because Batman, to me, is more than a cartoon, it's a fucking wake-up call. I look at this right now, take Batman out of it, and that could be Ferguson a few months ago. So we say it's crazy to fight crime and to fight poverty and to try to inspire a city, and yet this could be a very real situation. So where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line between saying it's crazy to want to make a difference, to sacrifice something, and then looking back on it and saying, oh, this person's a visionary, that person's a visionary. You can never tell up front. People ask me, what's the startup life like? And I, I want to say, do you want to know how I got these scars? It's not fun. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of people looking down on you. It's a lot of people not taking you seriously. But that's what it takes because startups aren't about money. Forget Silicon Valley. Startups are about change. It's about identifying something wrong in the world and saying, for Bruce, I have dead parents. If you're Mark Zuckerberg, maybe you don't have enough friends, but you want to make a difference and you're going to do something about it. And it isn't about, it isn't about, we're learning lessons. Please bring the applause down. It isn't about how people see you. It's about how you see yourself. It's about saying, this is who I can be in two years. I'm not the person you see in front who's destined for corporate culture. I'm gonna make a difference. So everything is about fixing a problem initially. So we look at Google, it's just like the Riddler. I want to know things, I don't know things. Netflix and chill is only here because people needed to be entertained and we need to bring videos there. So. You don't just start off being Batman. You don't just start off inspiring people and causing criminals to feel your wrath. You have to start somewhere silly. And I think that's a great, important lesson we can learn. A lot of people said Elon Musk was insane for spending the fortune that he had to invest into the companies that he did, and not many people are laughing at him right now. Just remember, you can't worry about what people think about you. The greatest, one of the greatest lessons to me is in every episode of Batman, 
In every movie, there's gonna be a fight. It's why you buy a ticket. You know it's not gonna be easy. You know there's gonna be a conflict. There might be blood, there might be sweat, there might be sleepless nights for your startup. But the last thing he leaves us with, the most important thing, is that it's always darkest right before the dawn. Don't give up, you can be Batman. Ta-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-